Howdy. The purpose of this video is to get these two drives uh, reading audio data from these DAT tapes using DAT to WAVE. This is Windows XP uh, Service Pack 3 installed on this system. This is a Connor CTD8000H with the audio firmware installed. This is a Sony uh, SDT9000 with the 12.2 audio firmware installed on it. Both of these drives, uh, that's my daughter, she'll be co-hosting this video. Both of these drives read audio data. There you go, sweetie, here's your pacifier. Both of these drives read audio data using the uh, WinDAP program. Uh, the, the, the SCSI card is a, an Adaptec 390U and a DC390U and I'm using the internal I'm using a two uh, I'm using a ribbon cable with two uh, I don't know what you call that uh, two spots that pick up two, two anyway two a two thing ribbon cable the um, the jumpers on this uh, Connor drive um, are are such that uh, the term power on that's jumpered and active terminator enabled is jumpered. Those are the only two that are jumpered. This lower drive, the jumpers are as such. Uh, SCSI 2 is, a, is both of those jumpered on the end and term power on is the jumper on the end. Um, the jumper settings on both of these drives have been hotly an item that I've really wondered about. That's the back of the SCSI drive, and there's another thing. I have these options for cables. I have an active terminator with this uh, this setup here, and one of these massive cables that I can run off the back. I also have a single, I don't know what you call it, single terminal or, or a SCSI cable that will just that will just operate with one. Anyway, let's boot up. Here we get... Uh, starting up uh, Windows XP. There's my TechRam. There's my first drive. There's my second drive reading. Both of the drives come up on the... Uh, they come up, they, they register fine on the startup screen of the... Um, SCSI drive, that's the Adaptech uh, interface software that runs the SCSI drive. And there we go. I'm getting into Windows here. Log in. I'm the owner. There. Um, I have a uh, the well-known program. I'm the person who started uh, Dat Heads to Wave Yahoo group, and uh, uh, a gentleman named Wayne made this program here, WinDat. It's an excellent program. Uh, there it is, and I'll start that one up. We'll show you what that does. Um, both drives appear on there. There's the the really great-looking screen on WinDat. And then we go there, it says SCSI bus, there's that, and uh, both of those register there. There's the archive Python, and there's the SDT 9000 Sony. Uh, this program um, works for the most part, but it's not the program that I wish to use uh, with this PC. dat to wave has been uh, far more successful for me, um, dat to wave has just worked a lot better for me uh, over the years because it will give me different files for different, uh, as soon as the sample rate changes, it will give me different files. I have dat to wave here on my C drive and it's in this folder. I have a, a batch file written for it um, and that's the batch file and those are the commands. Um, I found that the it looks for the it looks for the uh, input ID has been a big issue with people on the dat to wave program. 
and that uh, sees it at 4-0. And then error correct is turned on. Pause is placed in this uh, batch file to keep it open. These are this is help that people have given me on my um, on the DAT heads to wave group. VDAT is another program that I've had limited success with. I've had a little bit of success with VDAT. It's pretty good, but let's give this a try right now. Here's what I get. I always get this thing happen there. Configuring input drive, drive didn't initialize. And I always have that same problem with this. Now I can change it to different, uh, I can edit this, uh, there's a different, I can edit the um, SCSI location pretty easily in here just by changing this to a different number. We'll see, put this on one. A person could recursively go through these and uh, I'll run this one now and see how that does. Drive didn't initialize. Uh, it's finding these drives on uh, on the fourth on uh, ID four on the SCSI drive. Anyway, um, that's the setup I have. I'm just really not having good luck with this, and um, I'm not getting that to wave. It always says drive didn't initialize. Uh, I get just about the same thing every time. Um, now I'm gonna. I have the ASPI installed. I'll uh, here look at ASPI check. Uh, ASPI check is here somewhere. Oh, here it is. No, it isn't. I have ASPI check here somewhere, and I can demonstrate that as well. No, can't find it. Oh, I did have trouble installing the Sony STT9000 drivers that I downloaded there. I don't know why, but those won't, uh, they won't uh, install uh, on either of the XP machines I have, and I'm not sure why that is. Anyway, um, that's the situation. I, I don't really know why that I can't get DAT to wave work or to work or VDAT to work, but if somebody who sees this video has some insights, how I'm using SCSI wrong, how I'm using DAT to wave wrong, uh, just what I'm doing wrong. It could be a jumper setting. And something like that, please let me know and um, I want to work this problem out. Thank you very much.